Hey planner friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be planning from the 18th to the 24th of July in my medium passion planner. Let's get started. So the kit that I'm using this week is Watermelon Summer from Planner Face. I do PR for Planner Face, so you can use my code in the description to save yourselves a little bit of money and also mention me for a freebie. This week was definitely a week of two halves, so this kit definitely fits better with the first half of the week when it was super hot in the UK. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go to a beach, but I figured that this kit still fit nicely. As always, I've started off the pen base and my spread by shading in the parts of the timeline so I'm going to be asleep, and then going in with my Grace Stabilo fine liner to mark in my alarm times, split my personal and work to do sections in half to give myself extra checklist space, and also create my five day habit tracker in the bottom left hand corner for things I have to do at work pretty much every day. I've then gone in with my lime green Stadler Tripless Fine Liner to mark in my work hours, and now I'm adding in all of my meals for the week, so adding breakfast, lunch, and dinner onto each day with my Pilot Friction Pen. As usual, I'm not including breakfast on days where I don't have an alarm set in case I sleep in. I'm then going to finish off my pen base using my green Crayola Super Tip to highlight over all of those meals that I've just added in, colour in the daily focus boxes of the days where I'm not going to be at work, and also highlight over all of the check boxes in the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to apologise now for the fact that my voice is probably going to get super croaky over the course of this video. I haven't really spoken much for the last couple days just because I have been quite ill. That's why this kit doesn't quite fit the second half of this week. I am feeling much better now, it just doesn't sound like it in my throat and also I still have an annoying cough. But it's not Covid, I had a negative PCR test so my streak of being Covid free continues. Also if any of my UK friends are wondering how you get a PCR test these days, I have no idea I get them through work because I work in a hospital. But anyway, that is pretty much it for my pen base. Now we can get started with some stickers. And as always, I'm starting with my meal plan tracker, which is just something that I made in Excel and print off on sticker paper myself. I'm then adding in the squared off half box from the kit with some deco into the weekly focus box and finishing off my sidebar with a habit tracker from the kit to mark my daily check-in and also one of the decorative boxes to cover up the quote section. Next we can move on to my washi headers and as usual I've cut one of the 15mm strips from the kit in half to cover my Space from Infinite Possibility header and my personal and work to do list headers and then I've cut a 6mm chunk from the second piece of washi to create my extra gratitude header in the bottom left hand corner. I'm then going to really struggle to put down the weekend banner for some reason and then we can get into some day to day planning. So zooming in and starting on Monday, I'm first using a fancy label and some deco from the kit to mark that Monday was the day that it was going to be super hot in the UK and we're talking temperatures pushing like the top 30s, not quite 40 degrees like it was in London but it was still too hot for me. Moving on to Tuesday, I'm marking that I was working from home using a glitter header from the kit and a work from home script from Planner Face. And then I'm using a skinny event label from the kit to mark in that I was doing send outs this day. And then I'm using a quarter box with some deco from the kit and a doctor's script from Planner Face to mark in that I had a doctor's appointment. Thankfully, this doctor's appointment was quite short, so this box is definitely a little bit overkill for the amount of time that I was there, but it meant that my car didn't heat up to the surface of the sun in the car park where there was no shade. Because it was still really warm this day and the air conditioning at my gym isn't great, I decided to just do some yoga at home instead of going to do my first weight session of the week. So I'm marking that in with a pinky stickers printable. And then I'm marking in that it was my friend's birthday using a piece from one of the three heart checklist boxes that I've cut up and the birthday balloons from the kit. And now we can move on to Wednesday where I was duty scientist. So I'm using a regular event label and a skinny event label from the kit with a joy of planning scientist girl to mark that in. I also have my regular Wednesday afternoon seminar, so I'm using a quarter box from the kit with the laptop doodle to mark that in before I add in my second duty scientist session. Weirdly, Wednesday was like the most normal day of this week because the weather was kind of back to what you'd expect from the UK in the summer, and I was working on site rather than at home, and also I hadn't started feeling ill at this point. For Wednesday evening, I'm just adding in my first weight session of the week using a pinky stickers printable and one of my planner face pull day scripts. So moving over to Thursday, I'm first using a glitter header and a work from home script to mark that I was again working from home this day. And then I'm using a bin icon from a planner face multicolor doodle sheet to mark in a reminder to take the bins out. And then using one of the little things with some deco and a payday script from planner face to mark in that this day was payday. Next I'm using a quarter box with this shaker cup doodle from planner face to mark in my penultimate PT session with my current trainer. It still feels really weird to say because I have been training with him for the last three years. 
Moving on to Friday, I was covering the email inbox this day, so I'm using a skinny event label and the envelope doodle from the kit to mark that in. I was planning on just doing a little bit of light cardio on Friday evening, but this is where you can pretty much ignore all of my pre-planning because I started coughing and had to go home in the middle of Friday afternoon. So moving on to Saturday, I did do my usual planning time on Saturday morning. So I'm using a third box with some deco from the kit and an edit script from Planner Face, and a flag and the planner doodle from the kit with a planning script from Planner Face to mark in at my usual planning time. But I did not do this voiceover on that Saturday. I sounded terrible. The most annoying thing about being sick this weekend was that I missed what I'm putting in now, which was supposed to be my first weightlifting class with my new coach, but because I was ill and I was waiting for the results of my PCR test, I couldn't go. But I initially marked that in with one of these kind of squished half boxes from the kit and a joy of planning weightlifting girl. For Saturday evening, I'm adding in my usual half box with some deco from the kit to mark in whatever we got up to, and this was a very lazy Saturday evening. And then we can move on to Sunday. Well, I'm first using one of the three hot checklist boxes from the kit to mark out a chunk of time to do some cleaning and then adding the vacuum doodle from the kit onto that box. I'm then adding in another one of the fancy labels with the grocery doodle from the kit to mark in doing the grocery shopping, but thankfully my boyfriend did this on Saturday evening for me, so I moved this whole set of stickers to Saturday afternoon to mark in meal planning. When I set this spread up, I was as usual going to upload this video on Sunday, so I'm using a piece of the Monday to Sunday box that I've cut up with a YouTube button icon from Icklin Co and an upload script and planner face to mark that in, and also marking in my third wait session of the week, which again did not happen, but would have been a push day. I'm pretty proud of myself for getting out of the mindset of if I miss a single workout, I'm going to lose all of my progress, and rather just being like, oh well, that workout would have been rubbish if I tried to push myself through it anyway. The only reason that I was really annoyed about missing my workout on Saturday was because it was a new class that I was really excited to try. So that's the basis of my week, now we can add in some decorative boxes onto those days when I'm at work just to fill in some of that space because I don't like adding in too much work stuff into this planner. As usual I've trimmed these decorative boxes down vertically on the sticker paper and I'm trimming them horizontally on my planner so they fit nicely within the timelines. As this kit is in the new mini kit format from Plannerface, it doesn't have any of the three hot checklist flags that I usually use to mark in at the top two or three things I get done at work each week, so to add those in I had to delve into my album of leftovers. And I think the colour matches that I found are pretty good, like you can't really tell that these are not from the same kit, I think anyway. So that is pretty much it for all of my stickers this week, now we can go in and fill in all of my plans as usual using my Pilot Friction pen. So as I said at the beginning of this video, this week really was a week of two halves. On Monday and Tuesday it was boiling hot in the UK, we had like record temperatures pretty much everywhere and it was just way warmer than I ever wanted to deal with when I had to work at the same time. And also I think one of the most frustrating things about it was trying to get ready to go for a walk at like 8 in the morning because that boy likes to sleep in, so me waking him up to put his harness on at like 8, he was like what is going on, I don't like this. And then we wouldn't be able to walk him again until like 11 at night and then he'd get really hyper when we wanted to go to bed. He seemed to do okay in the heat though, we got him this little like gel cooling mat that he seemed to really enjoy once he worked out what it was and also we put some like plastic bottles of water in the freezer so that he could like roll them around and stuff and he seemed to really enjoy those. Honestly I think he did better with the heat than I did. Work was also pretty good this week, I got loads done on Monday and Tuesday despite it being super hot, so I was feeling super productive, and then on Thursday afternoon I started feeling a little bit tired, and I was like, mm, this is a bit weird, uh, maybe it's just the heat catching up with me though, and then I went to my PT session, and although like most of my lifts were pretty good, my Olympic lifts were not good at all, and I just seemed to have no coordination, and then on Friday, kind of lunchtime, I started coughing while I was in work, and instantly I was like, I think I need to leave, and I was sharing an office with two people who had holiday booked the following week and they were like yes get out. So I got my test done and pretty much self isolated the entire weekend. Thankfully it turned out to be just a cold again which I am really grateful for but this is my second really rubbish cold this year after pretty much not having a cold for all of 2020 or 2021 just because obviously we didn't really leave the house. 
but I'm feeling better now so I'm going to try and catch up with my videos. I think I'm going to do two a week for the next two weeks just so I can get back on track with things and I know I only really missed one upload but it feels like I'm super out of whack. I also don't really know what day it is because I'm recording a like regular weekly voiceover on a Tuesday and I've been working from home for the past two days because I had to self-isolate while I waited for my PCR result so I don't know what day it is or where I am at the minute. My focus for this week was to try to stay cool because I knew it was going to be super hot. I'd seen all of the weather warnings and everything and I think I did a pretty good job of it because I don't think I overheated and I didn't get too ratty with anyone when it was too hot. So not too bad for the hottest days ever in the UK. But that is all of my pre-planning done for this week. Let's take a look at the finished spread. So here's the spread all filled out and I really like how this one turned out despite how rubbish the end of this week was. As you can see I just completely gave up on Sunday and covered most of the day up with a decorative box. Also, because not a lot happened this week, my reflection section is just all pictures of Reggie and I don't mind that one bit. Also now please enjoy a tiny little clip of Reggie versus a fly that was between the curtain and the patio door. I don't want to shame him, but he did not catch that fly. So that's everything for this video, friends. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed it, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.